Do I heal? I don't think I really need to heal. Okay. Hey guys, it's been now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, we headed up the Pokemon Tower and it was kind of creepy. Whoa! Whoa, did you see that? That guy teleported! Whoa! Like, that guy, that guy was on screen and then he just disappeared. As we went on a new route. Uh, so anyway, this is, um... Route 8, I believe, I think. Uh, Pikachu's round. Uh, Jigglypuff's more like it. Jigglypuff. That uh, would make more sense. Uh, so this is Route 8. You can get a bunch of Pokemon, but we have talked about them before. However, you can get a Growlithe or a Vulpix. So if you need a Fire-type... Uh, and especially, if you don't have anything to combat the next gym, like if you don't have a f good Flying-type, I recommend you, um... I recommend you catch either a Vulpix or a Growlithe right now, because because a good fire type it will go a very long way. Thankfully, that you know there are workarounds for the flying types, but like you don't need a fire type by the end. But the only other things you can really do for the next gym uh, is flying. And while you can get some good flying types, you can get Spiro. Ah, oh, double slap. Fun fact, Double Slap can hit more than twice, I think. Because the translation is actually multiple hand slap. As in, that's that's what the actual Japanese says. Clefairy's not a puffball. Ramblin' gamblin' dude. <laughs> Ramblin' gamblin' dude. Wow. Uh, so we got another gambler. Thankfully, there's not a lot of trainers. Um... There's actually, you would be, oh, I, I wouldn't say you would be surprised, but, um, to put it bluntly, uh, like, when we went to Route 5, I believe, that was the route just south of Celadon, uh, Celadon, we haven't gotten to that yet, uh, the route just south of us, uh, Rulian, like, there were no trainers on that, uh, Route 7, which is just next to Celadon, is basically like that, so... Provided that we can just take out all these trainers, we should be able to to check out Celadon before the end of the part. Vulpix is kind of cute in this game, but not really in any other game, because Vulpix is like a fox. Hooray for Birdo! You are catching up. Missed the big score. You are actually catching up to, to Venusaur quite quickly. That's what I get for training only two Pokemon. By the way, cut the grass, cut the grass. I'm going to items for no reason. Ducks, use your cuts. Hiya! Uh, there aren't really any wild Pokemon to get. However, if you need to catch something, there's some grass. I don't think there are, there is any grass outside of here, which is kind of interesting. Um, so yeah. Oh, dude, it's the Super Nerd! Uh, so what has he got? He's got a Grimer. Boo! <laughs> I do, I do appreciate Grimer's sprite in this game. It's, it's very nice. It's like a boo. A boo. Ah, uh, it's not gonna kill him. Oh, um, if we had the extra hit, yeah. So yeah. Now this guy's got a Muck. Uh, Muck is a is the evolution of Grimer. To put it bluntly. His speed is low, which is why I'm, I'm actually alright with Bugaboom going out. Uh, he is kind of good. Uh, by the way, he evolves at level 38, which is kind of... I wouldn't say ridiculous, but I find it's kind of interesting how come he has a Muck at this point. You can't catch Muck. In fact, you can't even catch Grimer yet. Oh gosh. Yeah, for Bugaboom! Oh, so yeah. By the way, if Ekans is Snake backwards and Arbok is Cobra backwards, then what's Muck backwards? Uh, yeah, um... I like how people say that, even though that's not really what it's about. I mean, then again, Arbok replaces the K with a C. Oh, sorry, sorry, replaces the C in Cobra with a K, so... <laughs> maybe replace the K with a C this time. Restore the balance. It's not logical, highly illogical. Whoa! Yeah. 
Happy fun. The school is fun, but so are Pokemon, if you know what I mean. So yeah, all of the trainers are just like lined up there. It's, it's actually <laughs> like why? I don't know. This guy's got coughing. He's only level 26, so that's okay. Smog you. Now I can smog you. So these poison type. Why did I just? Oh no! <laughs> the, oh yeah, of course I'm poisoned! Uh, the biggest problem with mirror move is that there's only a select number of moves. Like, the problem is, a lot of types are weak against itself. And the problem with the mirror move is that it pretty much, like, it does that a lot. Uh, now I'm gonna use that antidote because I'm gonna need it. I'm actually surprised I didn't even get hurt by the antidote. Or by the antidote? No, by the poison. The poison! <laughs> you do look silly standing here like this. Missy. Not Misty, but Missy. Uh, she has a Pidgey. It's just a Pidgey and the Pidgey and the Pidgey and the Pidgey. Also, this Pidgey is weaker than Misty! Uh, then... <sighs> Yay! I had Missy, then Misty, then Pitsy, then Tristy, I don't know. Um, yeah, it's... The strongest Pokemon that we've seen so far is level 26. I have two Pokemon that... I have... You know, I have several Pokemon that are stronger than that. In fact, you know what? I'm gonna send out Bugaboom, because Bugaboom's still stronger than this guy, but quite a fair bit. I'm assuming one confusion is gonna kill this guy. Bugaboom, though, is pretty weak, because it's a... It's a... Butterfree. It's just weak all, all together. Oh, snap horn attack. Confusion! Hooray! I can't really do anything about that. Meowth, that is correct. Yes. I'm actually gonna see how well Schroeder does in a battle by himself. So, let's let's see. By the way, this person has five Pokemon. Actually, actually, blue had five Pokemon. Blue had five Pokemon! Oh does decently. Actually, he's gonna win. This is what I mean by Meowth is a bit weak. Although Meowth does own Payday. Payday is... Uh, own Payday? Meowth, uh, Payday is a very good game by Overkill. Uh, however, <laughs> uh, when it says coins scattered everywhere, that basically means that the victor of the battle will earn more money. I knew I'd, li I'd live. Yeah, for Schroeder! And now it's Pikachu. Uh, a ground type would be okay, but I don't. I think Pikachu's gonna try and use some kind of uh, quick attack. I bet you this Pikachu knows quick attack. Oh, nope, I'm quicker. Well, I, then again, I am 16 levels higher. I guess that's okay. By the way, if you are using, like, uh, Charmander or something, it will take you level 36. To fully evolve. Look what you did! The, yeah, where it said I picked up money? I like Nidoran, okay. Where it says I picked up money, that's because of uh, Meowth's payday. So I get a bit of bonus money for that. Uh, so technically, if you need to grind money, because you can't refight any trainers in this game, the only way to earn money, like from nothing, is to catch a Meowth and then use payday. I'm serious, it's, it's hilariously the only way to actually grind money. Poison Sting! Poison Sting! He was on like 1 HP, so I was just like, stuff it! Uh, so anyway, this person likes Nidoran. Nidoran! Uh, oh, Nidorina! Have we ever seen a Nidorina before? I think... We may have, I don't know. I think I have noted it somewhere, but I don't really know where. Nidorina is basically the evolution of Nidoran, uh, Nidoran female. It's okay? I, I don't know. I'm not a big fan of Nidorans. I'm not actually a big fan of any of the poison types in this game. I'll th I will say Ghastly is kind of, kind of good. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, I'm from Boston. That's basically his accent. I don't, I'm sorry, I've never been to America in a while. I don't actually have... I, I don't know, stuff. Abort joke. Abort joke. 
We're not, we're not going over with the accents. A critical hit. By the way, Payday is an exclusive uh, move. I was looking it up a little bit earlier, and uh, several Pokemon have exclusive moves, which basically means that move is only available to its evolutionary family. Um, uh, oh, sorry, sorry, a signature move, sorry. Um, and I know that Payday is Mouse one. I'm also just going to look it up right now. Uh, Beedrill learns Twin Needle. He's the only one that does that. Uh, Gust is actually only available via Pidgey, Pidgeotto, and Pidgeot, which is kind of interesting. Rattata and Raditate both get Hyper Fang and Super Fang. Ekans and Arbok learn Glare. Oddish and Gloom both learn Petal Dance. Paris and Parasect both learn Spore, which is kind of interesting. Uh, Kadabra and Alakazam, but not Abra, learns Kinesis. Machop, Machoke, and Machamp learn Low Kick. Shelter and Cloyster both learn Clamp. Gastly, Haunter, and Gengar learn Nightshade. Uh, Krabby and Kingler learn Crab Hammer. Execute and Executor learn Barrage. Cubone and Marrak learn Bone Club and, and uh, Boomerang. Hitmonlee learns Jump Kick, High Jump Kick, and Rolling Kick, which is weird because um, Hitmonchan learns nothing. Oh my goodness, I have the worst accuracy in the world. Uh, Kangaskhan learns Dizzy Punch. Goldeen learns Waterfall, and so does Seeking. Uh, oh, apparently Payday is not an exclusive move. I, how come? I don't even know. Um, I, or at least it doesn't seem to have it yet. Jinx learns Lovely Kiss, uh, Magikarp learns Splash, and uh, Porygon learns both Conversion and Sharpen, which is kind of interesting. And anyway, yeah, so those moves are only... Oh, Drill Pack! Yes! Yes! Drill Pack! Uh, I will replace Growl because it's I like I don't really need Growl. I really should have kept Leer though. I would prefer Leer over um whatever the other move is. Uh, Peck. I picked up a lot of money. So anyway, yeah. Uh, here's a bit of an odd cliff. I don't know why it's there, but sure, okay. Uh, now you will notice that we can. This is uh Saffron City here. Uh, so we can't go into Saffron. I don't know, is it possible to uh, get both battles at once? How's your chem? My chem? What do you mean chem? Besides coughing, your Pokemon are electric type. Uh, that's why I sent out a uh, flying type Pokemon. Drill Peck! Look at that! Drill Peck has 80 power, which is extremely good for, for this point of the game. Um... It's also still the same accuracy, and I think it has 20 PP. Did it? Yeah, it's got 20 PP. That is ridiculously good. I like. The, um, I think there was one more move that uh, Fira learned. Uh, agility at level 43. Uh, agility increases your speed. I think Fira is fast enough to get around that. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm really hesitant to not keep Birdo on my team. I think maybe it's just, just because um, it's not even very effective because he's electric type. Heck him! Oh, there's like someone across the road doing their lawnmower, and it's like, ow, meltdown. What? Yeah, I think you probably could activate both of them at the same time if you're in the right spot. Let's roll the dice! Roll the bones! That kind of stuff. Anyway, this is the last trainer on the route, and we'll, then we'll check out Celadon. There's a lot to do in Celadon, so... <laughs> anyway, this... I, I'm not sure what's with gamblers. Not as in... Not as in just a general statement, but like, gamblers in this game. What is with their choice of Pokémon? Because this guy has two Poliwags and a Poliwhirl, which is kind of interesting. Um... Also, I don't know why I'm sticking to Birdo way too much. I think it's just because I will basically single-handedly beat the next gym with Birdo. Uh, so anyway, this is Poliwhirl. Uh, Poliwag evolves into Poliwhirl at level 25. Uh, he, and he does... Uh, he has another evolution if you use a Water Stone. Uh, Poliwag... Uh, sorry, Poliwhirl has a different evolution. Uh, he has a separate evolutionary branch in uh, Gold and Silver, 
where he evolves into Politoed, which is kind of interesting. Oh my goodness, the guy across the street, he's got his lawnmower up so loud. Um, but yeah. Anyway, the department store in Zelda has a great selection. Now, we gotta count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. Oh, there you go, there's a nugget there. There's also another hidden item, but I'm not quite sure. Okay, so it's here. I think it I think it's just a bit of a uh, hereish. There you go. There's an elixir there. Oh, that means I've got two nuggets on me. I better sell them. Um, so yeah. Anyway, come out and you end up at... What are you going to say? Sleepy Pokemon also appeared near Celadon. That is correct. There are two sleeping Pokemon in this game. Both of them are the same sleeping Pokemon, but yeah. Uh, this is Route 7, by the way. There's no trainers. You just walk straight into Celadon. Hi, how are you? Alright. Anyway, this is Celadon City. There's a lot of cool stuff you can do in Celadon City. Um... By the way, I... I, I wanted... Uh... The thing with editing is that there's a lot of, uh... Elements I put into the videos. Like, I'm not saying that it's a lot of effort. It's just a lot of time. It's a, it's a time sink. If I had a bike, I would go to Cycling Road. Yes, you do need to get your bicycle in order to continue with the... Actually, you don't need it to beat the game. You, there's an alternate route that you can get to get to Fuchsia. If I get out the town map for a sec... Actually, I put the town map away, didn't I? Dang it. Um, I'll go to the box, because we'll see like what I don't need on my person. Uh, let's see. We'll deposit items. You can also toss items here if you want. Uh, I won't need my HP up. And I don't think I will need my Max Ether right now. In fact, I... Yeah. Um... I'm going to get rid of the X-Accuracy and the Rare Candy. There you go. There you go. How many Rare Candies do I have on me now? Uh, four. That's nice. It's nice Rare Candies. I don't know whether you can buy Rare Candies. I, I, know, I know in later games they, they are very expensive if you do buy them. Uh, but yeah. Now, this is a kind of an interesting place, mainly because there's a lot of back areas. For example, you can, like, go all the way back here, which is kind of weird, and... Like, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of interesting. Like, why you can go all the way back here. Also, here's something. If you go here, I think there is an item you can grab all the way over here. Oh, that's just disappointing. That is disappointing as heck. Um... Uh, so, we're going to go inside, I guess. Now, if you head in this back way, this is the retirement home, but if you head in the back way, and then you go up all the stairs, and then you head inside here... That's... <laughs> jeez. Jeez, yeah. Thinking for yourself. It's a pamphlet on TMs. By the way, yeah, there are 50 TMs, there are also 5 HMs. Silfgo knows. I know everything about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy. Get together with your friends and trade Pokemon. What? Okay. But if you grab this, it's an Eevee. We're going to name this Eevee... Uh... Speed V. <laughs> anyway, he does go to your Pokemon box, which is nice. We also get to use the Pokemon box for once. <laughs> Uh, yeah. I don't know why, but you can just somehow take this guy's Pokemon. And it's very odd, because he doesn't really say that you can have it. You just kind of take it and be off. Uh, I recommend you get this Eevee, by the way, because guess what's also going to be on my final team? Yeah, that's right. It's not, well, not specifically an Eevee. Eevee is a bit of an interesting Pokemon. It, um... It was basically advertised as the Evolution Pokemon, and in fact, that's that's what its name is. If I go to the Pokédex and I look it up, uh, Eevee is kind of near the end. There you go, Eevee. It's the evolution. Yep, the Evolution Pokemon. Yay. Kind of looks weird in this game. I'll tell you that. Um, 
But yeah, but that's because you can use either a fire stone, a fire, uh, a fire stone, a water stone, or a, a thunder stone to evolve into different one. This is a polyrath. Uh, which is kind of interesting. The only problem is that you only get one of them, which means you have to choose. Uh, you have to choose uh, who you want to uh, to evolve it into. Also, you will miss out on a couple of moves should you not level it up a bit. This is a retirement home. There's like nothing in here. All right, actually, we'll go into it. We'll, we'll go in here. But like you saw on the roof, there was nothing, and this guy's all just like, "My dear Pokemon, keep me company." Meowth even brings money home. What? Yeah, who needs an income when you can have Meowth? Uh, also, here's a Pokemart. Look how big it is. You know why? It's big. It's got phones, and it has a sign saying, This is the service counter. So, it's... I recommend that you go in here and you, like, check it out a bit. Uh, one, because Celadon is a great place for buying items. Uh, so if we head upstairs, we are now on the top grade of the trainer's market. This this is where we can get uh, lots of really good items. It's a bit more powerful than a rappel. Uh, now there's two people selling items, which is kind of interesting. This guy sells a bunch of I a bunch of TMs. Uh, a few of them, like for example TM01, uh, you can only find like outside before. Um, so and they're not that expensive. They, they do cost a fair bit, but 3,000 Pokebucks for deciding on buying a few of these TMs. The problem is you don't really know what the TM is, so I recommend looking it up. You can also buy just like uh, your status ailment items here, and you can also get, you know, your super potions. You can get revives now, which is great. Um, I would like to buy a few, but I'm actually going to save up my money for a bit uh, until later. Now, if we head up to the third floor... We have the TV game shop. First of all, talk to this guy. He finally finished Pokemon. And then he gives you TM18. Now, TM18 is a counter. Basically, what it does is that it takes your the amount of damage your enemy did, and then it attacks your, your enemy with that. So, yeah. These people talk about trading, and then they have their Super Nintendos all. Come on, Graveler. I love Graveler. Huh? Graveler turns into a different Pokemon. I hate Graveler. <laughs> Okay, sure. So yeah, uh, Pokemon uh, have ID numbers. It's basically more so. It's uh, the owner. Oh, you can also yeah, you can get Poke dolls here. If you want to execute that glitch in uh, the sil in the Pokemon Tower, uh, where you can basically skip getting the Silph Scope. That's basically what it is. You can buy a Poke doll right now for a thousand Poke bucks and just get over done with. You can also buy Water Stone, Thunder Stones, uh, Fire Stones, and Leaf Stones uh, if you need to evolve Pokemon. Uh, that, which is nice because you know you can evolve using stones. Uh, like when I was saying, there's a limited number. Technically, it's just a limited amount of money that you get un unless you grind something. You can run to wild Pokemon, distracting them with a Pokemon with the Pokemon doll. Yeah. Uh, Pokemon dolls are actually kind of bad altogether, though. If you want to avoid wild Pokemon, just use, like, a fast Pokemon and... and repels. They're cheaper. Seriously, a super repel costs half as much... You can buy two super repels for the same price as you can buy a Poke doll. And you can skip so many more trainers like that. Also, by the way, these are permanent stat increase items. They cost a lot, I'll tell you that. However, a HP up increases your health by one point, a protein increases your attack by one point, and iron increases your defense, uh, speed, and special. And I think it's very nice that you can actually do this. Also, this guy sells uh, temporary items. Of course, these are a lot cheaper. Uh, don't buy guard spec, by the way. Oh, no, no sorry. Don't buy die hit. Uh, guard specs increase your uh, evasiveness, I believe. So it basically makes your opponent miss a lot. Uh, for, for the rest of the battle. Dire hits supposedly increase your critical hit chance. They don't work in this game. Uh, another move, Focus Energy, is basically the same effect. What it's supposed to do is increase your uh, your critical hit chance by four times. Uh, I'm also going to sell both nuggets because lots of money. Um, yeah. They don't work. It's actually glitched. It's glitched stuck. 
So yeah, um, so I don't recommend buying those at all. Uh, if we head up to the roof, this is a roof, um, I think these are vending machines, aren't they? Yeah. So, I'm gonna buy one fresh water. Now I'm gonna buy a soda pop. By the way, I believe a fresh water is like, it's like a potion, uh, but it re heals 50 or 60 health, I believe. Or maybe, yeah, a soda pop, I think, recovers about 100, and a lemonade recovers 200. These are the only place you can buy these, and they're very cost-effective, which is which is actually a very nice choice. Uh, if you if you don't want the hyper potions or anything, actually, I'm not too sure. It's a, or I'll say it on the side. I think it's like 80 and 100. I w I'm thirsty. I want something to drink. Give her a drink. So if I give her a fresh water, then she will give you in return TM13, which is Ice Beam, a very powerful ice-type attack. Now, if you give her, this is why I'm doing this, because basically you can get TMs for extremely cheap. Uh, if you give her a Soda Pop, she'll give you TM48, which is Rock Slide. It's a pretty good rock type attack. Uh, and then, she's thirsty. And if you give her a Lemonade, she will give you TM49, which is Tri Attack. It's a normal type attack, but it deals a lot of damage. And it has the, the chance of inflicting a lot of stat status ailments, which is nice. Um, so yeah, other than that, there is the gym. I'm actually just going to take the lift down. It's a big lift, let me tell you that. Whoa! <laughs> okay, so we can, I think you can take on the gym right now if you really want to. However, um, actually, yeah, we'll take on the gym next time on Pokemon Blue. When it's angry, yeah. I think that's a bit of a health hazard. Anyway, with that, I'll see you guys next time on Pokemon Blue. See you then. Dun la la dun 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 la la dun 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 dun